I'm John Reckenthaler of Morningstar, and I'm with Michael Falk, of, uh, partner of Focus Consulting Group and partner and strategist at Mocha Capital. Michael, thanks for joining us at the Morningstar Investment Conference. It's a pleasure, John. Thank you. So you're talking today about something a little different than we normally get at the Morningstar Investment Conference. Yeah, I thought Tell we'd have what? a little fun uh, day and a half talking about assets and portfolio management. And when it comes specifically to retirement planning, people are going to be much better off and more successful if they manage their liabilities, not their assets. And I think we're going to have some fun with the talk. So today. we have asset managers here, but you're talking about liability management. Yes, specifically. Specifically, in, it, it enables the asset management in a way. If you think about liability management, lower debt as an example, lower fixed bills or expenses every month as compared to your total spending, Social Security, pensions, maybe a laddered bond portfolio can cover that with virtually zero risk, those fixed expenses. As those are a smaller portion of your total spending, that means everything else is more discretionary, which means that if you do take additional risk within your asset management and the market takes a nasty spill, it doesn't affect your lifestyle. And that's the beauty of this type of strategy, which I refer to as you should immunize before you even try to optimize. So we, sp we at Morningstar, including me, spend a lot of time writing about asset management strategies during retirement and should you withdraw 4% rate or should it be 3% now and you know that the numbers change and we have these discussions going and should you have more equities or less equities and what you're saying is that's all fine in a way but you can you can largely make this moot if you control your liabilities entering entering retirement so you don't have to worry so much about generating that much income. That's absolutely correct. Is whenever we make assumptions, what we know is that we, we raise some potential risk because we, it's uncertainty and we don't know what's going to happen. If you would start withdrawing 4% every year and your spending rises maybe because of health care needs or the market goes down, that could really disable your overall asset picture and the future of your retirement planning. Mm -hmm. It's not that 4% is wrong, but if we start from a base of immunizing or planning for fixed expenses to be covered mm -hmm. and then everything above that is discretionary expenses well then risk can happen and it doesn't disrupt so what I advocate is maybe start a little bit more simply maybe start with looking at how the total spending plan splits into both the budget for fixed expenses mm -hmm. and then the balance of the spending plan for all those discretionary things that you love to do and then once you get to a point of covering your fixed expenses, and if you go into retirement with little debt, the house is paid off, maybe you go down to one car that's paid for, you make that so much more manageable, now you can roll with the market's punches so much more easily. And it also means that there is no preset amount of equities that you should or shouldn't own. It also means there's not a preset amount of liquidation, 3%, 4%, that you need to or should take every month. You're making things so simple. Well, you know what the nice thing about simple is? You can do it. The difference with complicated versus simple, aside from people who can understand both, is the average person who we're talking about trying to serve the average person here, the average person can execute simple. They cannot execute complicated. They'll break it. And if they break it, then they get harmed. Clearly one of the outcomes and a positive outcome from an investor's point of view of, of tight liability management means you, you need you don't need to have as many assets or as a larger pool to cover because you've, as you say, you've, you know, your, your, your spending needs budget plus spending needs are smaller when the liabilities are smaller. You've also talked about possibly shrinking the time horizon in investment strategies during retirement as well, which also helps to, uh, so that people don't have to have this ginormous uh, asset yeah. numbers that you see, you know, this many X millions you should save and so forth that are, can be fairly terrifying well, and there's, there's as well as unrealistic. Nothing, yeah, there's nothing wrong with having two or three million dollars in a pile of cash or more when you're retired. But you've got to understand people have to work to get there. So you've got to do a trade off from current day life to future retirement life. And that trade-off is a very difficult thing for people to decide upon and to execute it. Again, simple. If you think instead of working to age 70, you know, some people may be offended by that, but trust me when I say that's likely going to happen for all people in the future. Mm -hmm. I won't get into the details. I will in my talk today. Okay. okay. 
working to age 70, buying what's known as an advanced life-delayed annuity, a concept that was put forth by Moshe Malevsky many years ago, mm -hmm. that starts, you buy an annuity that starts making payments at your expected mortality, let's say 83, as an example, because that's a common average mortality for unisex in the actuarial tables today. You mean, that means you only have to have enough from the savings to generate income for 13 years. From that, it's an oversimplified, but that simplified mm -hmm. perspective. So 13 years, when most people say, if you want to be safe, you need to start saving and think about a 25 to 30 year horizon. Right. It fundamentally alters the amount of savings that are needed. Now, we have to be careful because we're not going to tell people save less because this is your plan. We just let people know that this is potentially your plan. If you save more, what that does is it gives you more control. It gives you more control, do you want to retire early or do you want to work longer? It gives you more control in terms of what you'll be able to do during retirement. So there is no right answer here. That's where sometimes the overcomplicated and the software comes into play. It seems to indicate there's a right answer. There are many answers. What is it that you want? What do you want to get out of retirement and what trade-offs are you willing to make? Thank you, Michael. Thank you, John. That was Michael Falk talking about liability management. Thank you.